It's quite literally the best car that no one's buying. Praised by so many, yet bought by so few. It's the sedan delivered from the gods to crash the German sedan party. Actually, it's not a sedan, it's a hatchback. A car with a name that sounds like it belongs in the Grand Theft Auto video game. It's big, it's powerful, it's sexy. And no, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about a Kia. And for all you children who are watching this and saying, well, it's still just a Kia, it's because all of you care more about the badge that's glued to the hood than all of the engineering that went to what's under it. And now, I'm gonna show you why you're wrong. So, so wrong. On a cold winter's day back in 2015, a German engineer by the name of Albert Biermann joined the ranks of Kia and Hyundai as the first non-Korean executive ready to shake things up at the reliable budget car firm. This came after 34 years as the boss man at the BMW M Development Group, where he developed some icons you just might have heard of, like the E30 M3 and M5. Behrman created quite the storm, developing some new big names like the Veloster N, Genesis G70, and, uh, and oh, uh, this, the Kia Stinger. And when little baby Jake laid his eyes on the Stinger back in 2018 when the first one came out, it was love at first sight. I think I'm in love with you. I was so happy that a company that wasn't Mercedes or Audi or BMW was finally trying their hand at making a sporty executive cruiser. And I've been so excited to drive this car ever since. And finally, on my birthday of all days, I get to experience this, the 2019 Kia Stinger GT1. when you grab the key, this oddly shaped key. It somewhat resembles the button that you would use to launch a missile or a rocket or something. I wonder if Kia was trying to tell us something with this, to prepare us. Now what powers this missile is the Lambda, an all aluminum 3.3 liter V6 force-fed air by twin turbochargers, the same engine found in the Genesis family of cars. Twin turbos and a Kia in the same sentence? I know. Now for those squares out there, there is a two-liter four-cylinder turbo engine, but it doesn't have the same cool name as this one, and it only has one turbocharger. Lame. Now the V6 variant pumps out an impressive 365 horsepower and even more torque, 376 foot-pounds. That's more than my Corvette. This Stinger is even equipped with launch control. Launch control in a Kia. What is going on? Hold traction control down for eight seconds to disable traction and stability control. Mash the throttle and the brake. Let off the brake and you're off. hit 60 miles an hour in less than four and a half seconds and burn through the quarter mile in 12.9 seconds. It's faster than a GT Mustang of the same year, which has two more cylinders and a hundred more horsepower. And this has seating for five with a back seat, which my lanky six foot five frame can actually fit in and a hatch area big enough to carry both the driver and passenger of the Mustang home in. And eventually it'll climb to 167 miles an hour. And whereas big single turbocharged engines where you have to sit and wait and wait for the turbochargers to spool and then finally you're off, this has twin turbos and there's virtually no lag at all. And it actually has loads of low down V8 like torque. It honestly behaves like a V8 from a dig. The Kia 
Junior also has the most important characteristic of the sports sedan, hatchback, I mean, which is rear wheel drive, except for this one, which is all wheel drive, but it's still 80-20 split, so it's rear bias. And that's extremely useful when you live in an area like this that gets dumped on with snow. And I'm delighted to say the Stinger does get along quite well with the power. Now, the main reason why the Stinger catches so many eyes and the reason why I got more looks than Megan Fox does going through a small town is due to its styling. And man, did they get this thing right. I still do a double take when I see one of these things going down the road. This is a Korean sedan, hatchback, I mean, designed by two Germans, Biermann, as mentioned earlier, and another guy by the name of Peter Schreier, who came from a little company you might have heard of called Audi. Now, if you're curious what these E-badges are that's on the front hood and on all the wheel center caps, well, it's not Kia hinting at an electric variant of the Stinger in the future. According to Kia's website, the E emblem symbolizes maximized performance driving. Engineering excellence, exclusive, exquisite, evolutionary are all core values of this emblem. But you won't see this on many US Stingers because this emblem is only worn by Stingers in Kia's home market of Korea. The fastback silhouette of the Stinger, with its very long hood, deeply raking windshield, and low slung cabin, make the car appear to be moving fast while sitting still. And it looks vaguely similar to the BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe. And this one looks especially sharp, finished in Nardo Gray, excuse me, ceramic silver, as Kia calls it. This thing is also massive. It's as long as a Porsche Cayenne, in fact. Now, every other car reviewer loves to point out the fact that the hood vents are not functional. And I could honestly give a toasty because when I see these vents on the hood of a car, I know it's a Kia Stinger. They make it like no other car company has ever used fake vents before. I think these look genuinely good. And if you want them to be functional, well, better break out your Sawzall. Now, on the other hand, the vents on the fenders, those are functional. And while we're down here, you might have noticed the bright red brake calipers. Brembo brake calipers, in fact. Brembo's on a freaking Kia. Four piston calipers up front and two piston calipers in the rear. They are seen through these 19 inch lightweight wheels on the GT models, which are even wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport tires from the factory. Pretty girthy tires in the rear too. That color looks the absolute best when paired with this red leather interior. Actually a pretty rare combination, which brings us into another one of the Stinger's party pieces. It's insides. The aviation inspired cockpit of the Stinger with its wing design dash and circular spoked vents is definitely a step up from Kia's usual interior grade. And somehow I think this might be the first time Kia actually has had a red interior in one of their cars. What I like is the low slung seat profile. You feel down in the car and not like you're on top of it. And these seats look like they belong in an M3. They're well bolstered and do a fabulous job of cradling your body as you test the way the Stinger handles. And when you almost screw up in one of those corners, they are cooled to help soothe that sweaty crack of yours. And they're heated too. I like the slight touches of aluminum peppered everywhere and the red stitching that lines the flat bottom steering wheel, which feels incredible to hold. And since the factory exhaust isn't the best thing to listen to in the world, you do have this 15 speaker, 720 watt Harman Kardon premium sound system to pleasure your ears with. The infotainment system is classic Kia. It's very easy to read, very easy to use, and very intuitive. And the gauges themselves even have an aggressive and sporty font on them. And you even have paddle shifters in a Kia. That's because the power is put down to all four wheels through an eight-speed semi-automatic transmission, which can be controlled with these paddles. It's an automatic. Don't you dare call it a semi-automatic. Do not lie to us. It is not a stick shift. Oh, but can you imagine if it was? Whew, getting all hot and bothered just thinking about it. Kia, you built a car meant for car enthusiasts, but you didn't give them the transmission that they'd want. It's sad, but no one would buy it anyways, so. Now the Stinger is definitely more of a grand touring-like cruiser 
than a backroads brawler. That's not to say it's no fun swerving through the winding curves of a back road, but you do feel the car leaning a little bit not a ton, but a little bit. It definitely helps and inspires confidence knowing that under the brake pedal you do have some pretty powerful Brembo brakes available. After all, this thing does weigh 4,000 pounds when equipped with the all-wheel drive, 3,800 without it. Five-link rear suspension and electronically controlled suspension allow you to go from a comfy ride to a firmer, sportier ride on the fly. You've got this drive mode selector down here, and that both firms the suspension up when you put it in sport mode, and it softens it up when you put it in comfort. Now, this isn't a car that badge snobs, that like to choose cars that relay how much money they make are going to buy. This is a car that embodies what makes a good car great. A rear wheel drive, or all wheel drive, like this one, still rear biased, four door performance car, with almost 400 horsepower. Besides a manual, what more could you want? This thing comes with a 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty. That's half the time that I've walked this earth. And after considering the total cost of ownership on this Stinger will cost much less than the comparable 3 Series BMW or Audi, and it won't destroy your driveway with oil droplets. How can you go wrong? This car was built to be Kia's flagship car and to look into what the future of Kia is capable of. It was made to get people intrigued and excited, just like it did for me. To get car people into the Kia dealership and not run very fast away from it. With this car, Kia is transforming itself. They're going from the bargain brand of old and revolutionizing into a top tier brand. I'm just really happy that Kia did this. Even if it's not perfect, I have so much respect for this car and for Kia for building it. For me, this checks all the boxes for what a big GT Cruiser should be without the brand name markup. Well done, Kia, well done. God, this thing is amazing. And once again, a huge thank you to my friends at Northeast Auto Imports for allowing me to do this review on their 2019 Kia Stinger GT1. You can check out their website in the description down below to see the wide array of imported Japanese cars they have offered for sale. And thank you Kia Stinger for giving me a damn good birthday party. Very, very good car this. Thank you all so much for watching. For updates before YouTube, you can check out my Instagram at drivehub underscore underscore. But that's it for me today. I'm going to eat some cake. I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy motoring.